What is going on guys? What's popping? So today we're going to talk about LaMarcus Aldridge, how he's kind of struggling in his new role as a spot up three point shooter and some potential solutions for the Spurs to fix that. But first, before I get started, I want y'all to do me a big favor and smash that subscribe button and smash that notification bell. So every time I post a new Spurs video, you guys get a little notification. So let's go and jump in and get started. And like I said, Aldridge has struggled in his new role as a spot up three point shooter. And I think a lot of the reasons behind that is one, he is a rhythm player. Two, he, he's kind of an inside out player. And I'll explain that. And three, we know he didn't play in the bubble due to injury. So it's one of those things where he may be a little rusty and it may take him a while to get that rhythm back and just getting it into playing shape. And I think that's definitely one potential solution is that we just hope that the more he plays, the more he gets into basketball shape, the um, the better it'll get. Uh, I do think there are some issues though, just besides health and the shape he's in. I think there are some problems with his fit in that role. And one of those reasons is because he is a rhythm player and his game does start to his behoovel inside the paint and backing guys down, getting the ball a lot in the low post. And then he starts hitting that turnaround fade. Then he starts getting to the rhythm and hitting those mid range jumpers. And once he sit, knocks some of those down and he sees the basketball go in the hoop, that's when he starts to step back when he's feeling it and knock down some threes. But guys, we're watching the threes he's shooting in preseason. And that first game he hit a few, but those games against the Rockets, I mean, a lot of those weren't even close. And and I think he's just not in rhythm. And I think that has a lot to do with it. So if we want to look at potential solutions, and before I get to that, I do want to also mention that I, I don't think he was ever a good fit with DeMar DeRozan because DeMar DeRozan is most effective as that number one option with the ball in his hands. When Kawhi Leonard got hurt and Aldridge was that number one option, Aldridge was at his best because, again, he constantly needs the ball in his hands and that low block. Now, when DeRozan came in, Aldridge started getting the ball a little less, and I think it affected his game. And I don't think it's really a mental thing. He's just a rhythm shooter. At the same time, now without Aldridge and the bubble, I think DeRozan kind of benefited from that. And we see him, DeRozan still kind of playing pretty well, but I think he will struggle slightly with LaMarcus Aldridge out there because both of those guys just need to be the guy with the ball in their hands constantly, right? So if we're looking at solutions, this is the least likely. This is what's almost you know 100% not going to happen. You, you could give Aldridge less minutes or potentially even bench him for Jakob Pertl. We know Pertl was the starting center in the bubble, and it worked out pretty nice for us. You know, he played well with DeRozan and the other guys. I, I think that's definitely not going to happen. Even reduced minutes, I, I'm not sure is really to the behoovel of Aldridge's trade value, his um, personal value, or, or for the team. So I just don't see that happening. Uh, obviously, the other option is you do trade him straight up, maybe to a team like Portland. I, I don't think we could get value like Yusuf Nurkic at this point for sure. I don't even think that's on the table. But maybe you package him with like a DeJounte Murray or something or Rudy Gay and, and just get something out of it, right? And that's definitely a possibility. I think we would at least wait till the trade deadline. But at, at some point, I do think here in the near future, within the next year or two, we got to move on from Aldridge and go a different direction. Not because he's not a good basketball player, but because he's not a great fit in this system. Now, a couple more realistic options is one, I think you just hope as the season continues and as he gets into better shape and gets more comfortable that he'll just get more accumulated, I can't say that word, accumulated, accumulated with the accumulated with the role, right? So, that's definitely a possibility. And and I think one way to really help him with that is early on in the season, start feeding him the ball and the low post early on in the games. And I know it's not the most efficient basketball. I know it's what we talked about getting away from. But I think if we do want Aldridge shooting threes later in games and that, that sort of thing, then maybe that first quarter, we just got to get him going and, and get that rhythm going a little bit. I think there is a little something to that with Aldridge. I think DeRozan at times is kind of a rhythm player as well with that mid-range game. But if we really want to make it work this year, at least until we get some trade possibilities, then I think that's something we got to think about doing, right? 
So guys, this is going to be a pretty short video today and mostly because I just want to hear y'all's opinions and the comments. What, what do you think about LaMarcus Aldridge? Are we going to trade him? Should we trade him? Because I, I do think it is fair to say while he is still a really good basketball player that he's not a fit with these Spurs players with this team and this system. I, I just don't think he's a spot up three point shooter. Um, not sure if he's ever going to be good at that. Um, like I said, rhythm score and, and it starts in the low block. So guys, do me a big favor and um, like, comment, and um, subscribe for some more Daily Spurs videos. But, you know, hopefully as the season begins next week, we'll get into some more positive content. Like I said, I'm really excited for the season to begin. Uh, I really hope Aldridge gets it together and we find a way for him to fit. But, but guys, since day one with DeMar DeRozan, I just don't think we've been able to, to make it work. And the way our defense is right now with a lot of our worst defenders are in the starting lineup, which right now DeJounte Murray is supposed to be the best defender in the starting lineup. But guys, sometimes he's not the defender we we think him, we think of him, right? And before he got that major injury, he's had some times where he looks really good on defense, sometimes where he's just undisciplined. He's going for the big steal, but he's out of position, right? But then with DeMar DeRozan, with Rudy Gay out there, with LaMarcus Aldridge, who's a good defender sometimes, but he's not a great rim protector. It makes me wonder if we do really need a rim protector playing that center position. So, again, give me your thoughts. That's going to do it today for today. Go Spurs go, and I'm out. Peace!